two in every three school university students and professionals often say that they cannot read well, they cannot write well, they even admit they cannot even speak well, despite having studied English or whichever language they're in for decades. So being able to chat with friends for hours is one thing, but whenever put in a formal setting and asked to read, write, speak in an articulate way, majority goes blank. And despite having a head full of ideas, groundbreaking revolutionary ideas, I believe if you cannot express yourself and communicate with power, the world will always find someone to replace you and talk over you. Hi there, Mustafa Islam over here. Let me ask you a few questions. I need you to think hard but fast about them. Why learn to read if you can't understand something that you're reading? Why learn to write if your writing cannot convince someone? or perhaps even move mountains with your words? Why even study a language if you cannot communicate like a pro? Are all those years wasted? Hopefully not. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the major difference between language and all other subjects. All of them are objective and have one definite answer. But with language, you can express your love or hatred towards certain someone, something, in innumerable number of ways, right? So at the end of the day, the examiner is never going to meet you in person and get to know you over a cup of coffee and what an awesome person you are. They will only judge you based on how well you can read and write. Then again, you've got to know the rules to ace the game. The most common problem students face is that they get into the exam without learning the rules properly, which is the mark scheme. And this exam is but a great game. So I have a mark scheme based approach to dissect the exam, which works wonders for the students. Learn the hacks of the exams with me. Join me on this linguistic adventure. Explore the laws of the language and discover the power of expression and join the League of Legends, pun intended. So I have three rules for my students. First of all, to own the English language, you know, make it yours. And second, to be English teachers. If not, at least think like one. Number three, be the smartest person in any room you're in. As I always say, Kali Matha equals to Kali Katha. But please pardon the background sound behind me, all right? This construction work going on, it's Dhaka City. Anyways, language should allow you to feel bold and give you a stronger voice and not intimidate it. Language does not have to be flawless for you to ace the exam. It's really time to debunk that myth. Learn how to think critically while reading and writing and approach language as a means to express yourself and not just to pass the exam. Because students who do well with me, they're set for life. ILTS, GRE, GMAT, SAT, you name it. It's time to own English. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Can't wait to meet you.